tastes like Jennifer Lawrence bandwagon. And I ain't digging it. Hey guys, this is my very late review of X-Men Apocalypse. Now admittedly, I was on the fence about this film. I really like Days of Futures Past, and admittedly I am a very big fan of Wolverine and Hugh Jackman's portrayal of the character. So when I saw that he basically wasn't in it at all in the trailers, I was a little bit hesitant. Then when I saw that Sansa Stark was in it and you could hear her accent break in the trailer, I really kind of didn't have much faith in it. And then the biggest thing was how much they pushed Jennifer Lawrence. And not as mystique as Raven, like her normal version self, because apparently she really doesn't like putting on the blue makeup. I know she's a big name, but I don't know why you put her to the forefront when she isn't in mutant form, when it's a film about mutants. like. Rebecca Romojo or whichever in the original three, she was in blue almost all the time. I don't even know whenever she was a normal person. I think she was blue all the time, which I thought was awesome because that's what Mystique is supposed to be. She's supposed to feel normal being a mutant all the time. So the fact that she's only as Mystique like 12 minutes into the movie and the fact that she's pushed to the forefront was a bit discouraging for me, especially at the end when she was doing the speech thing. My brother and I were like, oh, I don't care. You only can change. You don't have super amazing abilities like some of the other people. Sure, you can change, but in terms of power, you don't have that. So either way, the movie itself, I actually was really into it, especially in certain sequences. There's certain battle elements of the film that I didn't think were going to happen, but they did serve more so fights within the minds of characters between Xavier and Apocalypse, and I thought that was probably the best part of the movie was a battle of minds. But the problem is, Apocalypse is very generic in terms of X-Men, and like, what he wants to do is he basically wants to destroy the world and have everyone under his power. That's very generic. And then when you consider that Sebastian Shaw in First Class wanted to do that basically so that mutants rule the world, not humans, you've got even a lamer version of what Shaw wanted. So, I don't know, Apocalypse, I liked Oscar Isaac, I think he's a great actor. I don't know, I just didn't feel that there was that much character to Apocalypse. He basically just wanted to destroy stuff. Sure, he found mutants to be amazing and beautiful, and he was basically an extreme version of Magneto. Who, by the way, has... He has one of the best parts in the film, except it's so badly started. Oh? When you think back on that scene, you'll understand what I mean, but I think that scene was really well done, except for that part, because that looked comical in my opinion. However, we're basically seeing another iteration of Sad Nito. What we're seeing is that he's actually trying to integrate with society, and I actually thought that was kind of interesting, except that doesn't work out, and so he basically goes on a tirade. The only thing is, he basically almost destroys the world, and all he does is he gets one little pep talk, and boom, he's back on the other side. That's what I mean. This film feels like it has too many elements to it, and the apoc the, the horsemen, we barely get to know any of them. Angel is just, he has a really cool transformation, but that's it, he doesn't really do anything else. And he, especially with uh, Psylocke, Psylocke, everyone was losing their shit about Psylocke. Except she's in it for like five minutes, and she doesn't really do much, except has a really cool thing and sword. So, the thing that I found this film had is what a lot of people have complained about the most with the X-Men movies is too many mutants and not enough uh, basically introduction to them. A lot of people said that happened with X-Men 2, except even, but still X-Men 2 is the best X-Men movie in my opinion. But it didn't have that much uh, sort of introduction as First Class did, which by the way, Apocalypse relies heavily off of, extremely heavily off of. There's so many parts where we cut back to scenes from first class and the whole time going, you're writing off of established story from this film, not in the sense of dialogue or just kind of 
establishing in characters. No, you're literally taking clips from the previous movie and putting them in this film. Admittedly, the timeline is so screwed up after Days of Futures Past, I don't even know why certain elements are in certain sequences. One of my favorite was really cool, except it didn't make sense why he was there. Um, but the one thing that I will give this movie a big compliment about is that it made me like C Cyclops. I thought that James Marsden's portrayal of him in the first three movies was so whiny and so bitchy that I didn't care for his character. However, in this one, I actually did enjoy it. And then there's also, there's another part that happens at the end with Jean Grey, which is like... We've seen this happen, so where is this going? Admittedly... We're getting so close now to where the film started. Where the next film was apparently going to be in 1990, which is it, that's it. Like, unless they want to do two 1990 period pieces, there's going to be literally no more room to do any more X Men movies unless they want to overlap again with the timeline. But. I still enjoyed it. Admittedly, there's a lot of parts that I thought were a little bit harsh. I'm, I'm saying very negative stuff here, but I thought the action was pretty cool. Admittedly, the ending wasn't as action-packed as I thought it would be, um, but I did enjoy certain sequences. Quicksilver was hilarious. I Actually, this is one of my favorite Xavier portrayals of all the movies. I think he did a fantastic job. James McAvoy is still one of my favorite actors. Michael Fassbender was Good. He wasn't very layered, but I still think he's one of the best actors in this whole series. So in the end, I'm going to give X-Men Apocalypse a 4 out of 7. I don't know why, I just... I wanted it to be a little bit better. I still think Days of Futures Past is way better. I think that... Uh, I think that the original X-Men movies are better. I, It's not as bad as people are saying, but it's not that much better, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Sorry for the long review, but I will see you guys next time soon with something that I'm going to do because I'm too bored to do anything else. See you guys later.